Okay, here we go. Good to see you, Murphy. Lieutenant's at the main entrance to the TV station. Yeah, it does look pretty good. Hey, handsome. We're here for the show. Go get it, Robo. Yeah, what up? A single? We can't wait any longer. Those trigger happy maniacs have a ton of hostages. Sir, Roger that. Over and out. What is the situation? Goddamn OCP tells us to stand down till SWAT arrives. That's our situation. Looks like I'm on the way out. Not so fast, buddy. Who do you think is going to clean up this place? I'm not letting you off that easily. You sound just like my wife. Damn. If that's the case, let's get you patched up. So you gotta do your job. We wouldn't want to get on that side. Press here. Medic! There you are, partner. Lewis. The hell is going on up there? For those dead eyes. Sorry, dude! The police want us to release the hostages! I, oh, so no hard feelings! That's you, fucked you up. can't go in yet. <laughs> we need to wait for the reinforcements. Reinforcements have arrived. I knew you'd say something like that. We need to find another way. It is too dangerous to cross. For me. But you can take the heat. Go. I'll figure something out. Besides, you could do with a head start. Go on. Where are you guys at? Come out. Can I made it. How do I made it? There we go. Aha, uh -huh, bitch. about the weight limit Lewis you're here we need to get these elevators back he's like what long. the fuck took you so long the service box is in the basement let me I doubt you had time between all the heroics but I got a key card from the janitor it's good to do some real street work from time to time you know are shaking. we cannot let him pass surprise motherfucker I didn't kill you. I will keep them coming. What a warm welcome, don't you think? Any more evidence here? Did 
Look at you. Doing your job. Somebody. Bam, bitch. seconds to eliminate the threat and protect the innocent. Thank God you've come. This lady really needs to see a doctor. She's out of her Murphy, fucking mind. These people need help. Why don't you go ahead? I'll stay with them. Right. This is Lewis. We have rescued three hostages. One with a gunshot wound to the abdomen. Requesting urgent medical assistance. Over. I'll grab this. His arm flew off. You know what? I should probably not do that when they're literally not shooting at me. Did I shoot his dick off? I think I did. Hold up, hold up. Bro, I told you, wait. Come on. What? That's bullshit. I call shenanigans. Was that nuke? Great shit. Oh my god. Holy shit. That was part of the story. Okay. Darling, could you get the napkins from the cupboard? Oh no. Sure thing, Mom. What are we having? Is he losing his mind? Little man, have you washed your hands? Do I really have to? No, for real, Mel. I think he is. Of course you do. No more discussion. Darn. What about Dad? Is he gonna be back for dinner? Alex. 
Hicks? The fuck? What do you think about the color of this dress? I'm not sure if I like the pattern. Oh shit. James really looks I'm up. I'm tweaking. He said in school that he wants to be a police officer just like his dad. Oh, my hands are shaking. These guys really like like the nuke. To new. What the fuck? You got three seconds. I swear to cocaine. Our family is the only thing I need to be happy. Two! Are you fucking deaf? Excuse me. We will stay like this forever. One! Last chance, weirdo! Shit. You okay there, Murphy? Take the camera. What does that want? Get it away from me. I am sorry. Can you see? It's unstable. Ma'am, please calm down. It's been a very tough evening, and I assure you that everyone wants to be back home with their families. Though for some of us, the night has just begun. Oh shit, here we go. No problem. Do you take singles? Get back in line. They're here. That's right. Praise me. Praise me, motherfuckers. Good job, Murphy. I think you're forgetting someone. Officer Lewis, you were remarkable. Sut ran off with his tail between his legs. Would have been nice if we caught him, though. All right, all right. Are you done with this circle jerk, huh? Good. We've got a problem. The malfunction caught on camera provokes a question. Can we put our safety into the hands of a machine, especially one as unreliable as Robocop? We asked Max Becker, the head of security concepts <laughs> at OCP. Thank you, Melissa. We would never put a defective product on the streets. That's not what we do. We all saw it hesitate in a life and death situation. Why? Does it really know right from wrong? Listen, I would trust this guy with my kids. I mean, if I had any. This was just an isolated glitch. Thank you. Mr. Becker, I've got more questions. I just want to snap her little neck. But she's got a point.
This was not an isolated incident. It's a pattern. A pattern that the old man once examined and fixed. Time to see what's hiding in that metal head of yours. We know what's in Murphy's head. It's what's in yours that worries us. Push me. Damn. We might just find out. You, follow me. Why don't you take a seat for me? They're about to fuck me up. That's a nasty scar. I'd like to see the other guy. Am I right? You do not. Trust me. Don't mind me. I'll just get this off. So, here's the deal, Robo. The old man is not happy with your performance. Instead of sending you to the scrapyard, as I suggested, he wants to fix you. Hey, pretty boy. You sure know how to make an impression on the ladies. Doesn't it hurt him? Hurt? Lady, he's a machine. He's legally dead. We can do whatever we want with him. No, madam. It does not hurt me physically. So we're going to equip you with a little emotionally. Membership. It will do a real-time check he's of your broken. system so we can get to the bottom of what the hell is wrong with you. From now on, your performance will be monitored and graded. So better be on your best behavior, huh? The chip is in. Let's see what we have here. I didn't save all of them. Oh, okay. Oh, office. Now studio. That sucks. B. Fuck you. Get that armor up. That's all I could do. Well, I can already see some unwanted activity in your hippocampus. We'll have to keep an eye on it. Other than that, everything seems to be installed correctly. To be sure, let's make a simple test to check that all circuits are in order. What are your prime directives? Serve the Fuck public you trust. Protect the innocent. Uphold the law. Okay, nothing disturbed. However, like with any new upgrade, I recommend visiting the range to check if you need calibration. Is that everything? Actually, no. Doctor? Oh, yes, sorry. Uh, my name is Dr. Olivia Blanche. I'm a police psychologist. I specialize in dealing with police officers suffering from emotional trauma. Emotional trauma? Might as well talk to the microwave. It hasn't been working properly either. OCP wanted to see if you'd be willing to have a talk with me as part of your evaluation. I noticed that a great deal of care has been put into making sure Stuff that up. your mechanical components work. However, one aspect of your composition that has been severely neglected the is the human now? side, your brain. 
I agree. If it was up to me, I'd remove it altogether. What do you think, Doctor? Would save us a lot of hassle. I don't mind the hassle. So what do you say, Officer? Is that possibly something that could be of interest to you? I am not sure. Robo, Reed wants everyone in the briefing room at five. It's about Robo. the new guy. Excuse me, Dr. Blanche, but I am needed elsewhere. Uh, but we... Well, can't say we didn't try. Everyone get back to whatever the fuck you usually do around here. Oh shit. Can I pet the cat? Hey, stay away from the cat. I can't pet it? Wow. Oh game. Yo, for real, man. Can't pet the fucking cat. Yo, turn that shit down. Could you please keep the noise down? You're scaring off my customers. Can't hear you. Music's too loud. Turn it down, bro. Hey. Hey. What do you mean? Are those two men bothering you? First, they harass my customers. Then they threaten to burn down my shop. You need to do something about it, officer. What do you want, cop? Can't we have a little bit of fun? We did nothing wrong. Control seems to be Leave it! That's Let brand new! I've only stole Bitch. Fuck out of here. Thanks, officer. Don't you cops ever get bored with harassing successful entrepreneurs? Hey! This shit is rigged! That's a serious accusation, kiddo. Someone might think I would allow such illegal activity in my high-class business. Which I do not. I get lost. You work for Soot. Tell me where to find him. You cops are giving me a stomach ulcer. Stop asking me about guys I don't know. Withholding information can lead to bigger trouble than a stomach ulcer. Look, I'm a busy man, so I'm going back to my office now. Don't you dare. Why don't you join me there, and we'll talk. Oh, okay. Oh, on second thought, you can't do that. Because you don't have a warrant, do you? What a douchebag. I didn't know you had such amazing colors. And there's not one but two of you? From now on, I promise, I will cherish you more often. Huh? Your body readings suggest substance misuse. Oh man, a real like TJ laser? You are so incredibly shiny! I'm definitely getting more of this stuff. Who sold you drugs? I really shouldn't say, but you are my TV hero, so... All right, all right. Uh, all of the arcade staff will sell to you, as long as you got cash. Unfortunately, I'm broke. 
But I have a great idea. You, you could help me sneak into the basement. They keep a huge stash of goodies down there. Drugs in the basement. I will take care of that. That's still way older really than his that, voice. Boy? Way to go, TJ. One. Surrender your weapons. Light him up. Ryan and nuts, bro. I do not want a pistol. Oh, shit. Shut up. Door, or you will regret it. Can't, can't a guy just sell drugs to kids without you harassing him every five minutes? <laughs> who, who am I hurting, huh? They all want it. Where do I don't know, maybe the kids. Well, if that's the case, shut it, bozo. Unless you want to end up in the ghost house like that cop's informant. And don't you dare open that door, I'll shoot you. Have it your way. You can just break it, right? Oh shit, I could have thrown this motorcycle. Yeah. You 
any evidence? Drugs? Shooting at me. You. Shut up. Now you and me going talk. everybody right where y'all at are you in the bathroom you motherfucker <laughs> what the fuck that's a, that's fucking great Cannot open that. Did I get a point? Vitality level two. All right. Points, no points. Turn to the streets. You know what? I like the SMG. You've actually done it. Do you think I could take that car back to the owner and say I'm sorry? Maybe she won't press charges. This car is now in police custody. Oh, please. I could really use a helping hand right now. Otherwise, I'm back in juvie. None of these people look like their kids. I don't know if I trust you, bro.
Okay. Proceeding to secure the perimeter. Keys are in the ignition. Thank you so much. I promise I won't mess this up. Yeah, bitch. Should be taught some manners. Excuse you. What the fuck? Holy crap. Holy crap. What the fuck is that? What kind of gun is that, bro? This is also on Robocop, but it's fun. I don't care. This is gonna end. Can I climb this? Oh shit, I'm about to break that wall. Eleven bullets here, so is there a 
micro SMG. Vitality shit. About to fucking recharge here. not done. CP Oh, oh. Excuse me Oh, there you go Oh, fuck Are you the police informant? Do you know where I can find Soot? Soot. Uh, oh man, all great questions, but uh, could you untie me first? They really outdid themselves with these knots. Talk. Yeah, I don't know how you usually operate, but that type of information don't come free. Bitch. And my service is free. No, of course not. You're right. You did save my skin. So, it seems that the new guy saw the punks attack on the TV station and decided to meet with Soot on their turf. The meeting is supposed to take place tonight during Soot's concert. Concert? I know. I'm not really a fan of his music myself. But that's not what those shows are really about. Why don't we, uh, get out of here, huh? Lewis, Soot is meeting the new guy tonight at the old slaughterhouse. Copy that. Pick nice. me up at the station. I'll grab my gear. By the way, I've got something for you, Murphy. They call Who you? Pickles. Where the fuck you've been? Yes, yes, There's a funny story behind that name. This one time, I saw Torchhead stealing a delivery truck. I went after them. Hoping that a VCR would fall off the back of the. Ah, it's nice to be free again. Thanks, Tin Man. Hey, uh, did Briggs tip you off that I might be here? Officer Briggs? Yeah, he's my police go to guy. Officer Briggs is missing. Missing? Oh, shit. Shit. May our city have mercy on him.
You seem proficient in undertaking police tasks. Ever thought of making a living out of it? <laughs> oh, no. One thing you should know about me. I love cops, you know, law enforcement, laws, all what of that. What the fuck, Mel? <laughs> I think those are great ideas. But so is Nuke. And when I need it, I tend to forget about the other stuff. So, you know what they say. You can only serve one master. Do you think Briggs is in trouble? I really don't know. Last time I saw him, he was going to check a case of missing bodies. Sounded like a bogus lead, so I didn't press him. Funny enough, he always tells me to be careful when getting info. But the truth is, I'm not the one running around gangster's paradise dressed in blue. How do you know Officer Briggs? Ah, uh, we go back a long way. He gave me a helping hand when I hit rock bottom. And I've been in his debt ever since. He even introduced me to his family. Great kid and wife, though. His missus don't seem very fond of me. Need to go. Duty awaits. Uh, uh, about that. I've got a favor to ask. I know that Briggs is missing, but I've got something that belongs to him. He must have misplaced it the last time he visited my crib. And it's kind of weighing me down. What is it? It's his wristwatch. Now, I feel bad holding on to it. Could you please give it back to his family? This is stolen property. You stole that shit. Do you expect me to return it? Gee, that sounds bad when you say it like that, but still, you shouldn't let me hold on to expensive things. That's how I ended up in this situation in the first place. I will make sure they receive it from the repentant thief. Oh boy, you're a tough negotiator. <laughs> but surely you don't mean now. I gotta chillax after all this. Now, motherfucker. We will proceed with haste. Oh, for God's sakes, man. As you command, Officer Steely. Hey, Tin Man, over here. This is where Briggs lives. Let's get this over with. His watch is burning a hole in my pocket. Apartment 21. 21? Oh, man, my hands are sweaty. Are you going into a drug-related withdrawal? Do you require medical assistance? Uh, what? No, I'm just nervous. Me and Gabe. This is it. Deep breath. Let's do this. First. Uh. Robocop! Are you here about Mike? Yes, I am sorry to hear about your husband. Oh, Gail. no, 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 no. This junkie is not coming inside. What else are you going to steal? Uh, funny you should say that. <laughs> I can't stand him. I'm sure he has something to do with Mike being missing. Are you any closer to finding my husband? We are still looking. Is there anything more that you can tell me about his disappearance? I've already reported what I know, but if you have any more questions, shoot. I heard that he was looking into reports of bodies going missing. An old lady approached him at the precinct and told him a sob story about how she couldn't afford to bury her husband. Can you believe that? Anyway, when she finally collected enough money and went back to the morgue, only to find that they had lost her husband's body, Mike went to check it out and never came back. Where was the last location that he was seen? 
I remember him telling me that he was leaving his jurisdiction, that that's where the leads were taking him. I tried to convince him not to go. It seemed dangerous, but he felt sorry for that old lady. He went against his own rules and me. He left angry because we'd been arguing. Do you remember the exact location? He never told me, but maybe it's in his files. I think I have everything I need for now. Knowing you're on the case makes me a little less anxious, Robocop. Now I just need to break it down for our son. He does not know? <laughs> I didn't know how to tell him. He's a smart kid, and I think he suspects something. Could you maybe tell him to come home? It's getting really? late, and the streets aren't safe these days. He normally dawdles, but how about you, you call tell him? him should <laughs> light a fire in his britches? I will make sure that he returns home, madam. Thank you. He's playing on the basketball court nearby with his friends. Go home, son. Good evening, citizens. I need... Need what? Some spare parts? Hey, there's a mechanic up the road. You are not the only ankle breaker on this basketball court. And that's letting you off easy. I've seen him do way worse for less. Shit, I, I, I was just messing with you. <laughs> what do you need? Go Looking home, for son. A kid. His name's Daniel. He was playing here earlier. Why? Is it past his bedtime? It is. Yeah, I saw a couple of kids drawing with chalk they found lying around that crime scene over there. Thank you for the information. Congrats, guys. You just became police informants. It has its perks. You'll love it. I see a couple of drawings over there. This was drawn not long ago. Ah, there's more over there. Wait, what? Oh, I supposed to... Nah. I guess we're conducting an investigation. Size seven. That's gotta be his. A lot of prints. They threw out the chalk here. I must have found something more interesting. What the fuck? That was close. We'd better hurry. Daniel! Do it! Come on! And him! What are you waiting for? Fuck him up! He's laughing at you! Hey, what the hell's going on over there? Yo! Daniel! Oh no, it's the cops! I don't want to go to jail for this shit! Is that a gun? Oh, you're in so much no, trouble. Daniel's about to go to jail. No, oh, Whoa. shit. We're about to die, hell? kid. You're lucky that Tin Man here doesn't have a real heart. He'd have a hole in it right about now. Sorry, sir. You will be once your dad hears about this. My dad's missing, so he can't tell me nothing. 
My mom said that he's out on an assignment, but I know the truth. He's not coming back. Why'd you say that? He's always been a stickler for following the rules. I guess that's why he's missing. Cops can't shoot without giving a warning, and someone got the drop on him. But that's not gonna happen to me. I'm going to be the one that shoots first. That's why my friends say... Your friends are knuckleheads. If you listen to them, you're a knucklehead too. Come on. Sit down. We need to talk. Those friends of yours, they take the easy way out. You don't want to go down that road. It leads to a... Fucking role model over here. Lonely place. Do you know why your dad is such a stickler for the rules? Because he's a chump. Because it's the right thing to do. It's not always easy to do the right thing. It takes... Strength. And you think my dad has that kind of strength? Are you kidding me? Your father has enough strength for the both of us. He even helped an ungrateful addict that he found in one of these buildings that smelled of rotting garbage, half dead and covered in vomit. And instead of writing him off, your father opened his home to him because that was the right thing to do. That strength. Don't you think there's someone else who could use that kind of support now? Mom. See, you already know what to do. How about you go out there and look for your you father? Can start by giving her this. She's looking for it. Is he going to arrest me? No. Yep. It's your first offense. So he'll let you off with a warning. Right? Right. It's late. Let's get you home. Well, you tell my mom about the gun? No. She doesn't like me already. Thanks for the help, Tin Man. I'll talk to you later. Partner, what's the status on the old slaughterhouse? I have to take care of something. We can go there soon. Sure thing. Pick me up at the station when you're done. <laughs>